Good morning, everyone. My name is Leanne Scott. I'm with Beyond Interiors. We are based in Oakland, California, and we are delighted to be a part of um, the Wisconsin Quilt Guild Show. Uh, it's the first time we have participated, and of course, we're coming to you virtually. So we really appreciate um, you watching. Um, I um, am going to talk a little bit about the Australian Aboriginal fabric. Um, I think of it kind of as two um, different kind of styles. And of course, in the fabric, a lot is merged together, um, both kind of in the Northern Territory of Australia. Um, primarily, you'll see the dots in the fabrics and those dots are, um, to me, significant of the um, Uluru, Uluru area or Ayers Rock, the red center of Australia. Uh, the primitive cave paintings I um, you know, witnessed in Kakadu National Park, also in the Northern Territory of Australia. Um, the artists decided to eliminate the sacred elements and abstracted designs into dots to conceal their sacred designs, which they used in ceremonies. Dots symbolize stars, sparks, burnt ground as the base of an Aboriginal painting and is the organization of the earth and ancestral connection with it. Only artists from certain tribes are allowed to adopt the dot technique. And um, as far as the cave art um, has symbolic and religious and or religious function. Um, it's also known as rock art and these symbols um, are used as an alternate way to write um, down uh, stories of cultural significance, uh, teaching survival and use of the land. So that's kind of just a very brief overview of the uh, style of painting and the reasons for the painting. Um, so I'm gonna show you some samples real quickly of the different styles. And then I'm gonna talk about uh, a little bit about the uh, 10 different fabrics that have, um, that I've researched a little bit of the explanation of them. So here we go. Here is, um, and you can see a lot of the dot painting. There's some symbols in here. Um, all the fabrics have names the Akuna, and then there's the Bush Camp. We've got uh, Bush Cocoa Dreaming. We've got Bush Onion. And this is Bush Food Dreaming, uh, Bush Tucker. And uh, Bush Tucker Dreaming. And this is Butterflies. And as you can see, now we see some little people um, characters in here along with the dots, a kind of a fusion of those two. Um, here we've got Gather River, um, or Gather Creek rather, uh, Brown. And here is our new Dreamtime uh, River. Again, lots of dots, lots of symbols in here. Here is um, a blue uh, river rock. Um, in here, kangaroo dreaming. You see kind of the shadows of kangaroos throughout the dotted fabric. Um, here's looking around purple. Here's men, women hunting, and you're seeing a lot more symbols in that in that fabric, as well as little flowers and um, seeds. Um, this is called possum um, dreaming, and this is uh, a platypus. Um, on this vibrant purple fabric. Again, lots of dots um, that symbolize um, what I spoke about earlier. Um, here's Sacred Women's Song. You see a lot of symbols here. Here's very simplistic black and white called Sand Hill Charcoal. Um, and then we've got something called Sandy Creek um, and Winter Spirit Yellow. Um, this is all, again, lots of symbols, lots of dots in the fabric, all very exquisite. And here is winter uh, spirits purple, same as the yellow, only it has more of a purple background to it. And in it, you will see um, there is kind of a um, religious deity that's kind of incorporated in the 
uh, design of that fabric. So those are just some samples. Um, I'm now going to talk about a little bit about um, some of the fabric. Uh, this is called body painting. And as you know, um, the Aboriginal people uh, do do body painting. It's in ancient traditional art um, that's been carried out for thousands of years. And obviously this design is um, uh, about that. Um, this is called bush banana. Bush banana. Um, it has, um, it's a climbing woody vine found on other shrubs. Um, its flowers are cream colored. The thick yellow leaves grow from a short stalk and fruits are pear shaped. So again, this is bush banana. Um, we have a fabric called bush plum and bush plum again is, has fruits that are harvested um, by shaking the trees to the ground. Um, they soak them in water and they plump them up for eating. <coughs> Excuse me. So all of course has significance to the land. Um, here's something called Bush Sultana and Bush Sultana um, is uh, a wonderful fabric. Very has been very popular for us. Um, it is a small bush, has thorny um, thorns um, and has fruits. Um, but uh, this is this is exquisite fabric. We've got a couple of fabrics called Corroboree. And uh, these fabrics are, uh, it's a ceremonial gathering for Aboriginal people. And um, so uh, these come in two different colors with a black background and a blue background. Here's some fusion um, called Dancing Spirit. You've got a big, um, not really evident here, maybe I can open it up, but you've got, and it's upside down. Um, we've got a dancing spirit throughout, and of course the dots and the figures in here. This is called Dancing Spirit Blue. Um, so there's that fabric. There's something called Wild Bush Flowers, and this is in the Northern Territory. Um, this artwork depicts seeds and wildflowers and pods um, that are gathered by the Aboriginal women. And so this is a, some, a staple of, of you know, their, their eating. Some are used as traditional medicines. Um, then we've got something called Yalki. Yalki has just vibrant colors. And um, these are uh, views of birds and frogs and different vegetation can be viewed in the Yalki, or it is called the wetlands of Australia. So Yalki means wetlands. And so this is a... Um, design based on that. And the um, last one is called, um, I call it Yumu bush tomato. It's Yumu Dumu uh, bush tomato. And it's a tomato plant that's usually waxy looking. It grows in the Northern Territory, has ripe fruits, strong fragrance. So again, uh, designs by the land and um, plants of Australia. Um, from these fabrics, we um, have made some items for sale, um, just to give you an idea for projects, or if you don't have time, you can purchase them. Here we've got some kangaroo fabric, again, the dots. Um, these are pot holders. Um, my business partner, Julie, has made some wine bag carriers, um, great for gifts or um, for, for bottles of wine or for just gifts. And here's another Australian Aboriginal fabric called um, bush yam. And this is also a pot holder. But Julie is quite the seamstress. We've made a bunch of table runners. Here is one in black and white. Here is one featuring crocodiles and turtles. Um, there's another one um, with the kangaroos in the circles. And here is one of the Yumu fabric I just showed you. And there's some green waves that complement that. Um, and the last one is um, this, uh, it's food. And then we're showing the corroboree and then the black there. Um, and these are all table runners that she has made that are for sale. Uh, we've got complimentary uh, napkins for most of these uh, table runners. Um, here's a couple of different styles. Um, 
again with the kangaroo and the green waves. Um, we've got circles. We've got the yumu that I just showed you, the yumu bush tomato. And then we've got some bush banana, which we showed, and some sand hill charcoal. These are all complimentary napkins that we have made that are for sale. We also um, are happy to make anything um, from fabric that we've got in stock. You just need to get a hold of us. We've made a lot of table runners and napkins as gifts um, for people that that either don't have the time to sew, don't want to sew, or can't or don't don't know how to sew. Um, I'm going to quickly show you um, something popular at all our quilt shows. We've got Quilting Girl, Knitting Girl socks, as well as many others. So in addition to our Australian Aboriginal fabric, we sell um, Japanese anime and Hawaiian fabric, which I spoke about yesterday, and Laurel Birch, a San Francisco designer, mostly dogs, cats, and mythical creatures. We sell her fabric along with cat panels, totes, socks, um, jewelry. And I spoke about her on Thursday. So I hope you'll visit our website. Um, again, we've got fabric, we've got jewelry, which I didn't mention that my business partner, Julie, makes um, Venetian and lampwork glass bead jewelry. And uh, that's also featured on our website, as well as men's, women's, and children's socks, very whimsical socks that have been very popular at all our shows. And then we've got what I call fun stuff. It's stuff we've made or stuff we've collected along the way that we love, and um, we're bringing it to you for sale. So again, we thank the Wisconsin Quilt Guild for allowing us to be a virtual vendor. We're offering 15% off um, our, ent our entire website, which is pretty unusual. Usually we just feature one product, but um, since this is the first time we've done the show, we thought we'd bring that to you since we have so much. Um, it really is a one-stop shopping experience, and we hope you'll visit our website. So if you're just joining us, um, I'm Leanne Scott with Beyond Interiors. We're based in Oakland, California. And uh, today I am talking about Australian Aboriginal fabric. Um, when I visited Australia many years ago, I thought of the artwork as basically primitive cave painting type artwork and then the dots. And it just is both in Northern Territory of Australia, the dots primarily um, in Uluru or Ayers Rock, the red center of Australia and the primitive cave paintings I saw a lot in Kakadu National Park, also located in Northern Territory. But this is kind of the basis for a lot of the designs for the Australian Aboriginal people. Um, the artists decided to eliminate um, the sacred elements and abstracted those designs into dots to conceal their sacred designs, which they used in ceremonies. Dots symbolize stars and sparks, burnt ground as the base for Aboriginal painting and is the organization of the earth and ancestral connection with it. Only artists from certain tribes are allowed to use these dots in their artwork, which I think is very interesting. And it's you know called a dot technique. Um, the cave art has symbolic or religious functions. Um, it's also known as rock art. And those symbols are an alternate way to write down some of the cultural significance and teaching uh, survival and use of the land. So um, that's kind of a very, very brief overview of the designs and how those designs now are uh, coming to us in fabric, which is just outstanding. Um, I'm going to show you some pieces very quickly of the different um, uh, fabrics that we carry, the Australian Aboriginal fabric. They all have names, and I may stumble a little bit, but I'll try to remember. Uh, Akuna in this purple. Um, the other is Bush Camp. You can see a lot of dots and um, little wiggles and, um, in the fabric. Um, that's two. This is Bush Coco Dreaming. Bush onion, and again, you know, a tie to the land um, or food. 
uh, very important. Um, here is uh, another one, um, Bush Tucker um, and Bush Tucker uh, Dreaming, I believe, or Bush Food Dreaming, I'm sorry. And again, you're going to see start seeing some footprints. You're seeing some symbols along with the dots. This is kind of a, a fused uh, of the you know symbols. And um, here is uh, Bush Tucker Dreaming dreaming and of course butterfly and then you're seeing some little um, figures within the butterflies um, again the dot fabric um, pretty exquisite designs um, here we've got um, gather creek brown um, again the dots symbols we've got dreamtime river um, again the dots and symbols we've got gather creek or gather river blue looks very rock like here we've got kangaroo dreaming with the dots and kind of um, silhouettes of kangaroos um, this is called look around purple this is men and women hunting men and women hunting are showing a lot more symbols and it looks like seeds and nuts um, looks like an arrow um, very very interesting intricate designs this is called uh, Possum Dreaming. There's a platypus on a vibrant purple. Um, we've got Sacred Women's Song and a pretty simplistic sand called Sandhill Charcoal, um, but uh, very uh, popular. Here we've got Sandy Creek Purple, again with the symbols and dots and um, kind of an intricate pattern in orange and purple. And then we've got a couple here that are called winter spirit yellow winter spirit purple um, and if you look real closely there is like a religious um, figure primitive figure that is kind of um, incorporated in the design so here again the fuse fusing of kind of cave painting and um, the dot the dot technique um, now i'm just going to talk a little bit about some fabrics that um uh, just to give you an idea here, this is some, something called body painting to um, the Aboriginal people do a lot of body painting. This was the inspiration for this design. Uh, this is called um, bush banana and a bush banana is a vine that's found growing on other shrubs. Um, the flowers are kind of creamy color. They've got thick yellow leaves and the fruits are pear shaped. That's very popular here. We've got something called bush plum. Bush plum is a vital food source for the Aboriginal people. And it's frequently featured in women, women's dreaming stories. The fruit is harvested by shaking the trees and the fruits then fall to the ground. And they're, they're soaked in water and softened um, to be able to eat. I guess it comes out in the springtime. Here's something called bush sultana, which has been a very popular um, fabric for us and been around for a long time. It's a small bush, has a thorny, um, has thorns and uh, a prolific fruit that grows. And so uh, after it rains, so this is another popular fabric. We've got a couple of fabrics in two different colors called corroboree. One is in black background, one is in blue. And um, the corroboree is a ceremonial gathering of Aboriginal people. So this is symbolic of that. And here we have something called Dancing Spirit. Um, I hope you can see that. Um, here we've got, you know, the fusion of kind of the cave painting, religious deities, and of course the, the uh, dots. Um, this is called Wild Bush Flowers. And this is again in the Northern Territory. Um, it depicts bush, bush seeds, wildflowers, and pods. So that's what this is. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, color combination. Uh, this is called Yalki um, Blue. And um, Yalki is considered the wetlands. And so you can see all kinds of creatures um, in the wetlands, um, such as birds and frogs. And this is the inspiration for that. And this is called Yumu Bush Tomato which is a waxy plant, grows in Northern Territory and has fruit. Um, 
I guess it's very, very fragrant, can be smelled from a long distance. So this is just a little overview on some of the fabrics. They all have names. They all are uh, designed by Aboriginal um, uh, people in Australia. Um, we have made some items that we um, sell on our website from some of these fabrics. Um, here we've got a couple of pot holders. One has kangaroos. This is called bush yam. We've also made some gift bag wine carrier gift bags out of the Australian fabric. Um, and then I'm going to show you some napkins and pot holders that we've made that we have for sale on our website from these fabulous fabrics. Here's some with uh, circles and kangaroos. Here's some with um, seashells. And this one is um, what I mentioned before, the Sand Hill uh, charcoal. That's very simplistic. Um, here we've got the bush banana, which I spoke about, the yumu uh, tomato, which I spoke about. Here's something called green waves. This is the bush sultana, and I spoke a little bit about the bush sultana and showed you that fabric. Um, we've got table runners. Um, here we've got that corroboree, which we talked about. Um, here again is that bush tomato in the center. Oh, whoop. And we've got a kangaroo with circles. Um, oh, and this is pretty fun. This is some uh, called green crocodile. There's crocodiles and turtles on this table runner. And here we've got uh, the bush cocoa dreaming and the sand hill as the accent. So all of these are uh, table runners, different sizes. They're all for sale on our website. If there's something you would like us to make for you, we're happy to do that. We've made a lot of different napkins and table runners for people. In the past, the holidays are coming, and uh, this is a real fun thing um, as a gift and, and very affordable. Um, I just wanted to point out that we sell Knitting Girl and Quilting Girl socks that have been very popular on, in our uh, shows. Um, so uh, basically our website, um, we're giving 15% off. Uh, $100 or more uh, purchase entitles you to free shipping. We have, in addition to the Australian Aboriginal fabric, I spoke yesterday about the Japanese anime and Hawaiian designs. We have those fabrics for sale. And on Thursday, I spoke about the Laurel Birch fabrics. She's best known for her cats, dogs, and mythical creatures. But we've got a lot of different fabrics of hers, um, as well as uh, totes, purses, jewelry, um, socks, um, and cat panels. Um, and again, I spoke about her on Thursday, but that's basically our fabric selection on our website. We've got jewelry that my business partner, Julie, makes out of um, lamp work and Venetian glass beads. Um, we've got the whole sock line of whimsical women's socks. We have men's socks. We have kids' socks. And then we've got what I call our fun stuff. Some of the items I showed you today, pot holders and napkins and table runners. Um, we've also got totes and uh, Laurel Birch t-shirts on that side, as well as some other gift type items. So we hope that you'll visit our um, website, again, 15% off for Wisconsin attendees. And we very rarely give it website wise. We usually give it on one product or something, but anyway, we are just delighted um, and thank the Wisconsin Quilt Guild for reaching out to us and um, allowing us to become a virtual vendor. This is the first time we've done it since we're based in California. So if you're just joining us, I am Leanne Scott. Um, welcome to Beyond Interiors. We are based in Oakland, California. And uh, today I'm going to talk about um, Australian Aboriginal fabric. Um, when I think of Australia, and I have been to Australia a couple of times, I basically thought of their artwork as the dot uh, artwork and as primitive cave painting artwork. And of course, in the fabric, a lot of this is fused together, um, some, some more than others, depending on the artist. Um, but I thought I'd read a little 
just overview of um, the different styles and what they mean. So the artists decided to eliminate the sacred elements and abstracted the designs into dots to conceal their sacred designs, which they used in ceremonies. Dots symbolize stars and sparks, burnt ground um, as the base of an Aboriginal painting and as the organization of the earth and ancestral connection with it. Only artists from certain tribes are allowed to adopt the dot technique. That I didn't know. I thought that was very interesting. Uh, cave art has a symbolic or religious function. Uh, it's also known as rock art and those symbols um, is an alternate way to write down stories of cultural significance, teaching survival, and use of the land. So obviously all these paintings have um, a, a deeper meaning, but we are just fortunate that these they're letting us use these designs and that the fabric companies have made uh, the fabric to, um, for us to, to enjoy. Each of these fabrics have a name and each has an artist. Um, this is called a kuna. This is called a uh, bush camp. And you can see some symbols and uh, dots and little squiggles, which may be, be insects or I'm not really sure if they're seeds or what they are. Um, I'm just gonna show you a preview of a lot of the fabric we carry and then I'm gonna go in detail on some of the others. Um, here's something called bush cocoa dreaming. Again, a lot of symbols. Here is um, a bush onion. Um, and you will probably hear that a lot of this is related to food or getting food, hunting. Um, this is uh, a bush food um, dreaming. And um, they've got little feet and um, you're seeing some symbols along with the dots and it looks like some sort of berries or seeds. Uh, the other is called Bush Tucker, and again, symbols and dots and lines going through it. Um, here's something called Bush Tucker Dreaming. Again, you see a lot of flowers and seeds. This is a butterfly um, pattern, and you're seeing some little figures inside of those, um, probably some sort of religious uh, deities of some sort. So those are some samples of the fabric that we carry. Um, Dreamtime River is this black and white one. This is new, very exquisite fabric. Again, a lot of symbols. This is uh, Gather River Blue. Um, looks very rock-like. Um, we've got Kangaroo Dreaming and that, and um, look around purple. Um, kangaroo Dreaming, you can see the dots, you can see the shadows or silhouettes of kangaroos. It looks like jumping um, on that fabric. Here's men, women hunting. You see arrows, you see flowers, you see seeds. Um, and the other one is called possum in the brown, uh, possum dreaming. Um, then we've got platypus. We've got sacred women song. Um, again, the platypus on the, in the, the deep purple and then the other with the um, symbols and leaves and things. Sandhill charcoal, very simplistic black and white. Um, we've got Sandy Creek. Again, we go back to the symbols and lines and dots in that design. And then we've got two called Winter Spirit, one in yellow, one in a deep purple. Um, again, a lot of dots and um, what looks like leaves. And in particular, I want to show you, I'm hoping that, um, maybe not. Um, this one, here we go. This one is showing kind of a crossover where we're seeing some sort of religious um, deity kind of incorporated in the design of the uh, fabric. So I am now gonna go into um, some of the uh, fabric that has some just a little bit more detail into some of the fabric. This is called body painting too. Uh, the Aboriginal people um, do a lot of body body painting. Um, this is called bush banana and bush banana is a vine found growing on other shrubs. 
It has creamy flowers, creamy in color flowers, narrow leaves, and their fruits are pear-shaped. That's called bush banana, bush plum. This is a vital food source for the Aboriginal people. It's also frequently featured in the women's dreaming stories. This is bush sultana. Bush sultana is a plant. Um, it's called, it has a desert, desert raisin as a small bush, has a thorny aspect to it. Um, and so that's uh, a very popular fabric for us. We have something called corroboree. This is a ceremonial gathering of Aboriginal people. We've got it in blue and a back, black background. And again, you see a lot of the dots and symbols. Um, looks like grubs too on there. And here we, we're seeing, this is called Dancing Spirit. And this has a deity incorporated in this uh, fabric design. Um, it's a sacred dance of the Aboriginal people. And so this is featured in that fabric. Um, wild bush flowers. Um, these are found in the Northern Territory and it's depicting seeds, wildflowers and pods gathered by the Aboriginal people. And it's a staple um, of their diet. Um, Yalki, this happens to be in blue. And Yalki is the wetlands. And so this is what the inspiration for that fabric is where birds and frogs and different vegetation can be viewed in the wetlands or Yalki. And this is Yumu bush tomato. So this is a very waxy looking plant. It has ripe fruits. It has a very strong fragrance. So that's Yumu. Um, we have made from a lot of these Australian fabrics, um, some items that I'm just going to show you as inspiration, or you can certainly purchase it on our website. We've made a couple of pot holders here. One is in a kangaroo pattern. One is called bush yam. Um, we've got some wine bottle carriers or gift bags, if you want, um, in the various um, Australian Aboriginal uh, fabric. Um, and then we've made a variety of napkins. Um, just to show you, here's a couple of the patterns, the Bush Sultana, which I featured earlier, the Yumu, which I just talked about, and Bush Banana, the charcoal, um, here's a seashell, brown seashell pattern. These are all napkins. And here we've got kangaroo and uh, the circles. So here's some just some table runners. Here's the corroboree is on the end. Um, and this is a food, food uh, pattern. Um, here's the Yumu tomato pattern in the middle and green waves. Here's a kangaroo with blue circles. These are all um, table runners. We've got a green crocodile with green turtles. And we've got a black and white uh, bush cocoa dreaming with the sand hill, that simplistic sand hill charcoal. So these are all table runners that are for sale on our website. Um, or obviously you can make your own if we've got enough fabric. Um, and I also want to show you, which is popular, our quilting and knitting girl socks. So those are something that's been very popular. Um, our website not only has Australian Aboriginal fabric, we carry um, Japanese anime and Hawaiian designs, which I talked about yesterday. And we've got Laurel Birch, which is a San Francisco, she's a San Francisco artist um, that is best known for her cats, dogs, and mythical creatures. She, um, uh, and I talked about her on Thursday. We've got a whole line of her fabric, her cat panels, her jelly rolls, totes, jewelry, socks, and t-shirts. And so, um, and it's, so that's our fabric line. Um, we've got a few African pieces, a few Indonesian pieces, and then we go into socks. We have men's socks, women's socks, children's socks, and uh, jewelry. Uh, we make one of a kind uh, lamp work and Venetian glass bead jewelry, and also carry another line called Firefly, which is very glitzy, semi-precious stones. 
And then we've got our fun section, which encompasses a lot of the items we have made from the fabric that we sell. Um, so you can buy those as gifts. Um, again, 15% off for Wisconsin attendees. If you purchase $100 or more, it's free shipping. So we thank the Wisconsin Quilt Guild for allowing us to be a virtual vendor. This is the first time we have done it. Um, I'm Leanne Scott. Welcome to Beyond Interiors. Uh, we um, are just so fortunate that we're a virtual vendor for this show, and it's the first time that we've done it. So we're delighted to bring our merchandise to you. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about um, Australian Aboriginal fabric. Um, when I visited Australia, I thought of um, their designs as basically dot designs, and the other was primitive cave painting designs, both located in the Northern Territory. The dots primarily in the red center, Uluru, or Ayers, known as Ayers Rock. The primitive cave painting, also Northern Territory, um, mostly in Kakadu National Park. So um, I'm just gonna give you a very brief overview. The artist decided to eliminate the sacred elements and abstracted the designs into dots to conceal their sacred designs, which they used in ceremony. Dots symbolize stars, sparks, burnt ground as the base of an Aboriginal painting and is the organization of the earth and ancestral connection with it. Only artists from certain tribes are allowed to adopt the dot technique. That I didn't, didn't know and I found very interesting. Cave art has a symbolic or religious function. Um, it's also known as rock art. So these symbols um, is an alternate way to write down stories of cultural significance, tech teaching survival and use of the land. So I'm gonna very quickly go over some of the fabric that we sell they all have names, they're all exquisite designs. Um, some have the fusion between the dots and the primitive cave painting. Some are strictly dots. Um, so here we go. This is Akuna in the purple. This is called Bush Camp. Um, and of course you see a lot of symbols and dots and squigglies, which I'm not sure if they're insects or what they are, um, seeds uh, in, this, in this pattern. Um, We've got bush cocoa dreaming. We've got bush onion. And you'll notice a lot of the names are for food and bushes and such or gathering of food. Here we've got um, bush food uh, dreaming. And you'll see a little feet, feet marks. Well, maybe not on that side, feet. And a little, uh, looks like a boomerang and seeds or nuts. And the other is called Bush Tucker. Um, this is called Bush Tucker Dreaming. Again, flowers and seeds on stems. This other one is called Butterfly Dan. And I don't know if Dan is the little figure in there, but there's a little uh, people inside of that little um, amoeba looking thing. Um, then we've got some more fabric over here. This is a very new fabric for us, which I find just delightful. It's called Dreamtime River. Here's Gather uh, River uh, Blue, um, very rock looking, rock like. Uh, here's Kangaroo Dreaming. You see the silhouettes of kangaroos throughout the dot fabric. Here is something called Look Around Purple. Again, many, many dots, symbols throughout that. This is men and women hunting. You'll see kind of boomerang like symbols. You'll see like an arrow, again, symbols and looks like seeds or nuts or flowers. The other one is called possum dreaming. Um, here we've got platypus. We've got sacred women's song. Sacred women's song again looks like a boomerang and it's got all kinds of uh, leaves. And of course the dot, the dot pattern. Uh, Sand Hill Charcoal, very simplistic, black and white. Here we've got Sandy Creek, uh, again, symbols and lines and dots. Um, and then we've got something called uh, Winter Spirit. It's both in the yellow and the deep purple. And again, a lot of the dots. Um, I wanted to show you this because this is kind of, you see the, 
this went the spirit kind of incorporated in the design uh, with their hands up. I guess it's a she, I don't know. Um, but that's just a brief uh, peek at the designs. Uh, now I'm going to talk a little bit about um, some of the, the fabric. This is called body painting. Uh, the Aboriginal people do a lot of body painting. Here's something called bush banana. And bush banana is a vine found growing on other shrubs. It's got creamy colored flowers and uh, a very, very thick, narrow leaves uh, grow from a very short stalk. And the fruits are pear-shaped. That's bush banana. Here's bush plum. Bush plum is a vital food source for the Aboriginal people and is featured frequently in women's dreaming stories. So again, all the significance behind, you know, the design and the fabric. Uh, Bush Sultana. Bush Sultana is um, uh, a native of, of Australia. Um, like other bush tomatoes, it has been used as a food source. Um, so again, that's called Bush Sultana. I've got a couple of fabrics, both in black and blue, called Corroboree. And this is a ceremonial uh, gathering of Aboriginal people and symbols and dots uh, throughout that fabric. Here's something called Dancing Spirit. In Dancing Spirit, you'll see the deity kind of incorporated in with all the dots. Um, and it re represents a sacred dance of the Aboriginal people. Um, wild Bush Flowers. This depicts uh, seeds and wildflowers and pods gathered by the Aboriginal women. And so that's wild bush flowers. Yalki is the wetlands. And in this fabric, um, they are uh, depicting um, birds and frogs that uh, frequent the Yalki or wetlands of Australia. And then this is called Yumu bush tomato which is a very waxy plant and has a very, very strong fragrance. So again, all these fabrics have names. Uh, they have meanings on why they've designed them, which is very cool. Um, we're so lucky to have these designs and that they're in fabrics. So from these fabrics, um, we have made um, some items that we have for sale on our website. And these are wine bottle, wine bottle carriers that we have made. We've made some uh, pot holders um, out of a kangaroo fabric and something called bush yam. Um, we've made a variety of napkins. Um, these are, again, all for sale, a kangaroo pattern, a circle pattern. Um, we've got what I featured before, the sand hill charcoal, the simplistic. We've got some brown shells. And here we've got the bush banana bush tomato, we've got green waves, and we've got bush sultana. So those are all napkins for sale. We also have made table runners. Here's that corroboree ceremonial, um, uh, a ceremony by the uh, Aboriginal people. And there's, it's a food, I think it's food dreaming. Um, here we've got yumu bush tomato in the middle and the green waves. These are all table runners kangaroo with the blue circles and we've got green crocodile with uh, delightful green turtles on uh, as an accent piece and then we've got um uh bush cocoa dreaming in the middle and then the sand hill charcoal that simplistic black and white so these are all table runners that we've made that are for sale on our website we could also make table runners or napkins or any of the things that you've seen here um it, providing we've got the fabric, if you're interested in us making it, uh, we've also got Quilting Girl and Knitting Girl socks. So as an overview, I've been talking about the Australian Aboriginal fabric. Um, the Australian Aboriginal fabric we feature on our website, obviously. We also um, have Japanese anime and Hawaiian designs, which I talked about yesterday. We have Laurel Birch who was a San Francisco artist um, and best known for her cats, dogs, and mythical creatures. I talked about her on Thursday. And Laurel Birch Fabrics um, 
we also have cat panels, jelly rolls, jewelry, t-shirts, totes, and a variety of her socks. So um, that's our fabric line. We have a few pieces of African fabric left. We have a few pieces of Indonesian fabric. Um, we also sell a variety of socks, whimsical socks, um, in men's, women's, and children's socks. Um, that's a whole nother line on our website. We've got jewelry um, that we make it, um, at a lamp work and Venetian glass beads, and also a line called Firefly, which is very glitzy, semi-precious stones. Um, we also have what we call our fun stuff, and those are the items that we've made from the fabric that we carry, like the table runners, napkins, um, pot holders, wine bottle carriers, as well as t-shirts and the totes from Laurel Birch. Um, please visit us on our website. Um, we are offering 15% off for any um, <clears throat> of the Wisconsin attendees and $100 or more purchased from our website will entitle you to free shipping. We thank the Greater Wisconsin Quilt Guild for allowing us to become a virtual vendor. This is the first time that we have done this, and um, we really appreciate being able to bring our merchandise to you. So if you're just joining us, I'm Leanne Scott. I'm with Beyond Interiors. We are based in Oakland, California. It is the first time that we are doing the Greater Wisconsin Quilt Guild show as a virtual vendor. And we thank them for inviting us and allowing us to share our merchandise with you. So today I am talking about Australian Aboriginal fabric. And in Australia, um, when I visited there, I think of their artwork as two different types. One is the dot design and one is the primitive painting or, or cave art. Um, I was fortunate enough to visit Uluru um, or Ayers Rock in the Red Center in Northern Territory. That's what I think of as dot, the dot designs. And then Kakadu National Park, also located in Northern Territory um, and was able to view the primitive cave paintings. So I wanted to give you a brief overview about those types of artwork. The artist decided to eliminate the sacred elements and abstracted the designs into dots to conceal their sacred designs, which they used in ceremonies. Dots symbolize stars and sparks, burnt ground as the base of an Aboriginal painting and is the organization of the earth and ancestral connection with it. Only artists, from certain tribes are allowed to adopt the dot technique, which I found very interesting. I did not know that before. Cave art has symbolic or religious functions. It's also known as rock art, and the use of symbols is an alternate way to write down stories of cultural significance, teaching survival, and use of the land. So, um, this is the basis for the designs and we're so lucky that these designs have produced have been produced in fabric that we can appreciate <clears throat> they all have names by the way this is called a kuna this is called bush camp and you'll notice in the bush camp that you've got the dots and you've got a lot of symbols and little squiggly things throughout um here we've got bush cocoa dreaming again a lot of symbols and dots Bush onion, and you notice the names all are have to do with food or gathering food or religious ceremonies. So here we've got um, bush. Um, oh God, it might be bush food dreaming and bush tucker. Bush food dreaming, you'll notice has little footprints, um, boomerangs, symbols, and of course the dot pattern. Um, here we've got Bush Tucker dreaming and we've got butterfly. And of course the butterfly, you see the butterflies and then you see little people in there. And I don't know, 
Uh, it's called Butterfly Dan. So maybe his name is Dan. I don't know, but it looks like little little people within that little amoeba type thing. Um, here we've got a brand new fa fabric we just got in, which we really love, and that's Dreamtime River. This is Gather River Blue. We've got kangaroo dreaming, look around purple. In the kangaroo, you'll see the kangaroo shadows are kind of leaping, jumping, um, dreamlike. Here's men and women hunting. You'll see boomerangs, arrows, again, nuts, seeds. The other one is called possum dreaming. Here we've got platypus. We've got sacred women's song with boomerangs and leaves and dots. And we've got a black and simple black and white called Sand Hill Charcoal. Here's Sandy Creek. And that's all lines and dots and symbols. And then we've got what is called Winter Spirit. And you'll see a little deity throughout that design. Um, it's in purple, it's in yellow. Um, and that is kind of the fusion with the, the dots and the other um, uh, cave type paintings. Uh, now I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, some of these other fabrics, uh, just giving you a little detail. Um, here's called body painting. Um, this is something the Aboriginal people obviously um, do. Um, bush banana. Bush banana is a very, is a vine growing on other shrubs. It has a creamy colored yellow flower and narrow thick leaves and fruits that are pear shaped. It's bush banana. Bush plum is a vital food source for the Aboriginal people and it's frequently featured in women's dreaming stories. Their fruits are harvested by shaking the trees to the ground. They soak the fruit and then they eat them. And that's bush plum, bush sultana. Um, bush sultana is, um, is a, called the desert raisin. Um, it's like other bush tomatoes. It has a use as a food source. Um, it has a thorny, thorny thorns and it's a, a shrub-like plant. And this has been a popular um, fabric for us and been around for a long time. Uh, this is called corroboree, both in black and blue. Uh, this is a ceremonial gathering of the Aboriginal people. Dancing spirit blue. And you'll see the deity throughout that with all these kind of dots and stars and throughout. Wild bush flowers uh, depicts seeds and nuts and flower pods. And these are all gathered by the Aboriginal women. And this is in a vibrant purple, which has been a very popular fabric for us. Yalki is known as the Australian wetlands. And um, so it's an inspiration for, you know, birds and fro frogs. Um, Yalki is the wetlands. And this is bush tomato which is um, a very good food source for the Aboriginal people. So again, very inspired by food, uh, hunting, gathering, and religious aspects. Um, that's what their designs are about. We're so fortunate to be able to have these designs translated into fabric for us to be able to enjoy and use and make things. So. Um, we have made some items from a lot of the Aboriginal fabric we've gotten. Um, we've made a couple, we've made some pot holders. Here's a kangaroo. Here's something called bush yam. We have some wine bottle carriers that we've made or, or gift bags. Um, these are all for sale on our website. Um, we have made um, a variety of napkins. Here's a brown shell, um, sand hill charcoal, which I showed you before. Here's a kangaroo pattern and a circle pattern, um, green waves, bush sultana, which I mentioned before, uh, bush banana and bush tomato. Those are all napkins. We've got some table runners. Um, here's one style. Here's the bush tomato that I mentioned just a few minutes ago. Here's the blue kangaroo with the blue circles. 
This is kind of a fun one with a green crocodile and green turtles. And here's a black and white with the bush cocoa dreaming in the sand hill. Um, those are all table runners that are for sale on our website. Um, if you would like us to make anything for you and we have the fabric, we are happy to do so. We have made a lot of those things for people um, that either don't have the time or don't know how to sew or, or whatever. Um, I also wanted to show you uh, a quilting girl and knitting girl socks that we offer. Um, so in addition to the Australian Aboriginal fabric, which I talked about today, uh, we have Japanese anime and Hawaiian designs, which I talked about yesterday, and Laurel Birch fabric, a San Francisco designer, best known for her mythical dogs, cats, creatures, and um, we carry her whole line of fabric, uh, cat panels, jelly rolls, totes, jewelry, socks. We have a lot of her sock designs. Um, that's basically the fabric we carry. We have a few African pieces, a few um, Indonesian pieces. We have a jewelry line that we carry that we make out of lamp work and Venetian glass beads. We have a whole sock line of whimsical women's socks, men's, children's. And then we have what I call our fun stuff. Um, some of the items I showed you today, like our napkins, table runners, and uh, pot holders, and um, laurel birch totes and t-shirts. So I hope you'll visit our website. We're offering 15% off the entire website just for Wisconsin um, attendees. Um, and we really thank the Guild for allowing us to become a virtual vendor since we're based in Oakland, California. It's the first time we have been able to bring our merchandise to your mall, and we are delighted to be a participant. Um, in brief, in kind of closing here, I just thought I'd go over um, what the uh, designs kind of mean. And um, I did some a little bit of research. I visited Australia many years ago and always thought of their designs as dots and cave painting. Dots primarily in Uluru or Ayers Rock, the center, um, Red Center, uh, Northern Territory of Australia, also in Northern Territory of Australia, the Kakadu National Park, which had the primitive cave paintings. And I'm just gonna read this because I find it really quite interesting. Um, the artist decided to eliminate the sacred elements and abstracted the designs into dots to conceal their sacred designs, which they used in ceremonies. Dots symbolize stars, sparks, burnt ground as the base of an ab Aboriginal painting and is the organization of the earth and ancestral connection with it. Only artists from certain tribes are allowed to use the dot technique. That I did not know and I found that extremely interesting. Cave art has symbolic or religious function. It's also known as rock art and the use of symbols is an alternate way to write down stories of cultural significance, teaching survival and use of the land. So that's how these artists, primarily women, brought these designs or probably sold their rights to the designs for the fabric people to make the fabric. And we are just so lucky that we're able to um, have these fabrics. They are a wonderful quality. I hope that you'll visit our website and take a look at um, the various uh, styles that we carry. They've always been very, very popular in all our shows that we've done. And of course our shows are primarily on the West Coast since we're based in California. Um, but we just love the Australian Aboriginal fabric. It's just very well made, um, just really nice quality. And we just really have loved it. We have friends in Australia that kind of turned us on to this way, I don't know, many, many years ago. And that was the inspiration for us to carry this and start um, selling it and bringing it to all of you. So again, I hope you'll visit our website. We're offering 15% off to Wisconsin attendees. If you purchase $100 or more, it's free shipping. Um, and we're happy to, to bring our merchandise to you. Um, and again, we hope that uh, you'll type something in the chat if you have any questions or email us at beyondinteriors at sbcglobal.net. Happy to answer any questions for you. And we hope you have a happy show and we'll um, 
tune in um, uh, later this afternoon if you missed any of this, um, because I'll be talking again about the Australian Aboriginal fabric. And of course, talked about the Japanese anime and Hawaiian yesterday and Laurel Birch on Thursday. Have a good day. Thank you.